Hello everyone, this is the Paper Princess and I have a new project share. I love reveal days where I get to show what I've been working on. I promised this in the last set of tutorials that I would do a winter album. I love Chow Bella. I love Graphic 45, Chow Bella, Stamperia, and you'll see I use that a lot. There's other um, collections I really love, so watch for my videos. Uh, so this one is my winter album called Snow in the City. It's eight and a half by eight and a half. It's got a nice deep three and three quarter inch spine. So you will be able to fit a lot of pictures and you won't get that crocodile mouth over here. Uh, you'll be able to fit plenty and have it still lay flat. So let's dig in. Oops. I magnetized the back of this, but I must not have had it set right. But this should stay down. I put a magnet on the back of that. I have some booklets that I made. This one is a six by six, so it uses one piece of paper. This one was a cutout. There's a cutout sheet and I put a little extra down here to journal. So I'm gonna line up my magnet. My magnet is back here and it goes there. There we go. This is um, on the cover of the Chow Bella paper. There's a bunch of these squares, so I put them throughout the book. Okay, so page one. Love the trolley car in the snow. It looks great. So I have this, it folds down. And then um, I do use about 10 pieces of this red paper. This is by American Crafts. And go like that. And then the whole thing opens up. Um, there's two doors here with trees and a park bench. Open up, you've got your bench over here. I just love how they put the red in with the black and white. It looks so good. There's another booklet. I made these booklets with leftover pieces at the end. So I used every bit of paper that I had. So these pullouts, I used, there's red on the front and back, and I just put a little um, leftover strips they had uh, that I had left over that matched the page. So I put some red in there to go with the red. So I just, I love the way this looks where the trees stick out. So that was a fun page. Page two, I have a little square here that I open as a booklet and it holds this in place. Uh, this is one of the cutouts and I made that like a tuck spot. I don't usually do tuck spots, but if you want, you just leave it open on one side and you can put a, a photo mat there or you can glue the whole thing down. You are not seeing what I'm seeing because I'm not in frame. Here we go. So it's a tuck spot right here. Okay, so this flap opens that way and then this way. This is from the cover, I believe. And this wavy, I did a bunch of wavy lines in here. There's an ice skater and it just, I thought of skating patterns. And so I, I put some waves in here. I will show you at the end of the video what I used to do that. Okay, here's a booklet. All right, so this goes there and then that flap goes inside. And then this had just this paper that goes with this and it's got the red there. All right, so page three, this is what I mean. There's the skater and here's her little skating pattern. I used uh, Kiwi Lane, it's sitting right here, I'll show you one of these. And you just draw here with pencil and cut it out. So that's how I did that. Okay, so we've got these doors that open up. There's our skating girl again. Got a six by six booklet, which takes up one piece of paper. Love the roses here, so cute. And on this side, I used a red strip again to bring out the red with her. Okay, page four, love this telephone booth. Oh, I love that. So uh, this is a flap that's got a pocket in it. So here's a photo mat that I have in the pocket. 
and it has a magnet over here so it it holds down it's got two little um top and bottom flaps here and it opens up you can see a winter scene there just thought that looked nice to have it hidden and then you open up and you see it here is the the pull out for that side okay page five um, this little swing tab, there's a, uh, on the cover of your Chow Bella, there's a bunch of squares with the miniature of what the page looks like. So this is a miniature of the cutout sheet, and there's all these little tags that you can use through the book. You just put a brad there, so this looks good. Got the roses here, rose petals, and the rose on your book. And then this two flaps. This came from the cutout sheet. Got red underneath and a photo mat in here. And you can put more if you want. There's not a whole lot of paper left over, but if you have other pieces of winter scenes that would go in there, you can put more mats or make more booklets. I do all that part at the end. There's a snow piece that goes. Okay, so page six. We have our clock. Here's another wave that I put in. And this square piece holds this again. I like that idea. And we have a booklet of the trees in the winter. Okay. So this goes here, and our pull out here is the snow with the red. Okay, so this is one of my favorite pages. This is really cool. So here we have our park bench with the lights. You open up, and I got my skater here because you get three of these. Uh, I got her the wavy skate line, so these open up this way just thought that was really cool and it was fun to make so I used one sheet of paper for the trolley cars and here's the trolley car again if you want you could put a little square here there is it that looks really cool so you pull out I have the other side of that red paper is these berries uh, so I have that here with the red, and it goes with our skating girl. She's got a red dress on. And our last page, page eight, uh, got our park bench here. Open that up. Got more benches back there. Rose petals here. This is a pocket flap, so this is the pullout. I did put a magnet under here, so it stays in place. Here's a pocket. Love the little bird tracks. This is from the cutout sheet that you'll get. And I made a photo mat out of leftovers. I really just used every last bit of paper. And the pullout has the red paper there. Okay, our back pocket, love the little paw prints, got the book here, and the telephone booth. So, and the little paw tracks going there. So that was really cute. There we go. And the back side is just the red. So, let me show you real quick if you like this book. Give me about a week and I will post tutorials on how to do it. There is a cut list on this walkthrough under description. So I used three packs of Chow Bella Snow in the City. And uh, I think there's about, yeah, there's 12 double-sided sheets of paper. I used 10, let me get this. 10 pieces of American Crafts red cardstock. It's called Crimson. I used, this is an 80 pound. I used black from American Crafts for the construction of the book. 
Also for the book, I used 90 point chipboard. This is an eight and a half by 11 and it's by Paper Accents. I have a bunch of that. For the wavy flaps, I used Kiwi Lane. Um, this one is called Paisley Place, but they have many different others. You just need something wavy. It doesn't have to be this exact one, but if you have Kiwi Lane, uh, just pick one of those and you can use it. Um, it makes great scrapbook pages if you do 12 by 12 books. And uh, if you don't have them, they're just a lot of fun. Uh, and I use that. That, if you want to cut the pages wavy, that's optional. If you don't want to, you can just make them um, straight. I used a 16th inch ruler. If you don't have one, I will tell you if you if you need to make a, an eighth of an inch or a 16th of an inch cut, I will tell you where on a regular ruler to cut that. So don't worry, but it, it does come in handy. I did use book binding tape on the construction of the base album. This is one and a half inches and it just goes right here on the corners and it just looks really nice and it, your paper won't crack. So you will love this and I will show you how to put that on. Got this on Amazon. I used glitter glue on the hinges, not when I glue down paper or anything. I use a, an ATG gun, but this I use on the hinge. And I think that's about it. I did ink my pages. I used uh, espresso. I, uh, there's also a pewter color. This is like a brownish, but brown or gray would go with this book because there's both of those colors running through it. So that is it. I hope you uh, tune in to the videos that will be coming out in about a week and we can make this book together because I just thought it was a lot of fun. So thank you for watching and subscribe to my page and there will be a bonus book based off of this one coming out shortly after the tutorials are posted.